Last time on this venture camp, the contestants faced their worst fears. Many of them managed to overcome them, but others chickened out. Ashley managed to win it for her team by overcoming her fear of fire. The teal team, as a result, headed to elimination. At first, it seems it was guys versus girls, until Gret painted Drew in a bad light, causing Tom to flip to the girl's side and send Drew home. Twelve are left. Who will leave camp today? Yori? What are you doing up? It's late. I was just drawing. <sighs> Go to sleep now. A girl like you should not be awake at this hour. Fine. Ugh, I hate that old wrinkly bag of a woman. How dare she tell me what to do? I don't even listen to my own mom and she thinks she can control me? Well, Lil, if you were feeling safe... I've got bad news for you. Oh my god, Nick! Ashley! Your things are on fire! What in Sam Hill? My hat! My backpack! Oi! Not my cashmere sweater! I thought I left my hat in my tent! Which one of you wankers took the piss? Alec, did you see someone take Nick and Ashley's stuff? No. Sorry, but I'm going to excuse myself. I'm not going to be a part of this argument. What's going on? Someone threw my stuff on the fire. Oh, it can't be. I, I think I know who did it. Who? In the morning, I saw Lil come out of the tent with your backpack and Ashley's. Lil? What? What are you talking about? I didn't know she was gonna burn your stuff. Sorry, guys. I should have woken you up. Lil, what in the Queen's name did you do? I didn't do anything. These are blatant lies. Biore, are you absolutely sure you saw Lil? Totally. You're lying through your teeth, little girl. I think I'd better go. I swear, I had nothing to do with this. Why would I burn your things? Oh, maybe you decided to throw a wobbly after we didn't decide to go along with your plan to save Will. Nick, calm down, hon. I... I don't think Lil would do this to us. I don't think it's true that Lil burned Ashley and Nick's things, but honestly, I'm not saying anything. Alec and I have been somewhat excluded, and this arguing could really help our case. What's up? Nothing much. Just reading a bit. You should lend me one of your books. This place is kind of boring. Actually, I'm about to finish this one, although I doubt a child would be very interested in it. What is it? It's about psychology and different kinds of people. Sounds interesting. What makes you think I wouldn't want to read it? Well, fair point. Maybe I misjudged you. Here. It seems short. I'll finish it in a couple of days. What's this? Oh, sorry. It's a drawing. My son drew it for me. Son? Uh, yes, I have a son. I don't really like to talk about my life, but I read that it helps to form bonds, which is necessary if I want any hope of winning. I don't understand what happened last night. It was supposed to be four votes against Gabby. 
I'm just as confused as you. And what if Drew voted for himself? Uh, I don't think so. One of us didn't vote for who we should, and it wasn't me. That's weird. I had no choice but to vote for Drew. The boy knew things I didn't want anyone to know. But I can't tell Jake and Dan that. As long as Gret doesn't tell either of them, I should be fine. I voted for Gabby because the boys told me to, and now one of them is lying. Nobody can be trusted here. Gabby, listen, I had to- I don't feel like talking right now. I'm disappointed that Dan vote for me. He was the one person on my team that was nice, but it turns out he doesn't want me here either. Welcome campers to your next challenge! You will be playing for immunity as well as the best reward so far. A night in a cabin with beds, food, and even a phone to call home! Well, I'll be! I would love to call my parents and say hello to my sisters! The challenge will be divided into two parts. For the first part, your team must use canoes and row in pairs until you reach the platform in the middle of the lake. Derek will be waiting for you there. The first team to arrive will get an advantage in the second half of the challenge. I'll give you some time to pick your partners. Shall we go together, Tom? <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm going with Gabby. I guess it's my turn with Miriam. Wanna go with me, Alec? Okay. Come on, Ashley. Guess that leaves us. What you say, Fiore? Perfect! The challenge starts now! <sighs> this is unusual. You're not yelling and talking nonsense. I like it. I'm sad. My old team didn't want me. And now they tried to kick me out on this thing too. What did you expect? Nobody likes you and everyone thinks you're crazy. I figured. Lucky for you, I'm on your side. I managed to save you by telling a few little lies. Lies? Have you lied to me too? Of course. But you better have no doubts about our alliance. Without me, you'd be gone. <sighs> Don't worry. I'll do as you say. Sometimes it's necessary to be hard on others so they understand who's boss. Also, it's the truth. No one wants to get close to that weirdo. Not even me! But I need her vote. Lil, I'm sorry about how tense things got this morning. For what it's worth, I believe you. Really? Yes, you have no reason to lie. I've known you for a few days and you always put this alliance first. Thank you, Ashley. I wish Nick could see it the same way. But why would Fiori do that? I don't know. That girl is hiding something. I can't believe Lil burned my stuff. Me neither. She seemed like a nice person, but lately she's been a bit stressed and acting... differently. I concur. She's been making camp quite dodgy recently. I know. Ugh. My hands are killing me. You think you could row for me if I pay you? Nick's a pain in the ass, but I have to put up with him. I need him to stay mad at Lil. I hope we win this challenge. I'm already tired of only eating fish. <laughs> huh, I know. What are you craving? Chinese takeout. I always order that at home. Oh, I love Chinese food. There's a restaurant I live near that'll knock your socks off. We should, uh, go when this is over. Sure. Hey, your eyes. They're pretty. I never noticed since you've always got that hood on. Um, thanks. Uh, sorry. I, I don't know how to react when I get a compliment. Don't sweat it. What do you think about what happened in the morning? I didn't give him much thought. I walked away the moment I heard their voices raise. I hate arguments. You know, maybe them fighting is good news. We're no longer on their minds. I know. That's why I avoided intervening. Honestly, 
A million dollars would make my life so much better. What would you spend the money on? I want to study fashion design. Just don't have the time or money. Back home, I have to juggle two jobs that barely keep me afloat. Wow. And I thought my life was horrible. What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Uh, let's row faster. We're almost there. Hey, uh, Miriam. If you set the oar this way, it could help- Dear Lord up above, why must you forsaken me on a canoe with this wretched child? What did I do to deserve this? Huh? Are you trying to say I don't know what I'm doing? Uh, I'm just saying that- Just zip it, Boy Scout. Both teams are just missing one canoe. It'll be a race to the advantage between Dan and Miriam against Fiore and Nick. Miriam, we both have to get there. Fine. Just no talking. Your voice is annoying. Okay. Come on, Nick. Faster! I'm going as fast as I can. Wow, I didn't know you could row that fast. It's not the first time I've done this. Back in grade school, I was a part of our school rowing team. Sure, I'm not as strong as I used to be, but I haven't lost my technique. Teal team wins. They'll be getting a special advantage in this next challenge. For your second challenge, we will have one-on-one -on -one confrontations. The objective of the game is to knock your opponent into the lake. Each time you win, you score a point for your team. The first person to score three points will win immunity and reward. Teal Team, for having won the first part, you will be able to use these dueling sticks. Purple Team, you get branches. We'll give you a minute to decide your order and we'll begin. First showdown will be Tom versus Alec. Ready? Begin! Come on, Tom, you can do it! Break his leg! Tom scores the first point for his team. Next showdown, Brett <laughs> versus Ellie. Ready, go! That was easy. The teal team scores their second point. One more and it's over for purple. Next showdown, Gabby versus Lil. Lil needs to score to keep the purple team in it. Go! Not fair, she used Gabby's dual stick. Yeah, it looked painful though, so I'll allow it. Lil gives the purple team the first point. Next showdown Dan versus Ashley. Well done, Ashley. Ashley evens things out. The purple team scores their second point. It all comes down to this. Last round, Jake versus Nick. You better win this one, Jake. Ready, go! Step on him! Ow! What's wrong with you? <laughs> well done, Jake. Jake scores! The teal team wins immunity and reward! I'll be handing you a new map where the cabins you'll be staying at are located. 
Purple team, you've got a date with me at the elimination tonight. One of you are going home. We'll finally get to sleep in a real bed. About time. <laughs> Too bad it's only for a night. Sir, can I make a call? <clears throat> Not yet. I am preparing a fault. But it will be ready by tomorrow. Okay. Listen, Nick. Can we talk? I think I've heard enough this morning to decide who I'm voting for. You don't have to behave like that, Nick. Fiore told me everything I needed to know. At least give Lil a chance. I already made my decision. Cheers. Hey guys. What's wrong? Now that everything's said and done and your asses have been saved, I think we should vote together and take control of the team. Wait, what did you say? Sounds good to me. Well, who do you propose? Oh, I got someone in mind. I've noticed that Ellie and Alec aren't as unbearable as the rest. I think I can be myself around them. Welcome, losers! You already know how this works. Go to the voting booth, write the name of the person you want to vote out, and drop it in the ballot box. Let's go! Lou, it genuinely frightens me that you handle kids. If I had a kid, I wouldn't let him anywhere near you. I'm voting for your A. Sorry, hon, but I have to support Lil this time. You've cast your votes, and now I'll make your decision final. The person with the most votes must leave the camp. First vote, Lil. VRA. VRA. That's two votes, VRA. One vote, Lil. Nick. Nick. That's two votes, Nick. Two votes, VRA. One vote, Lil. One vote left. The person kicked out of this venture camp is... Nick. What? How did this happen? I'm just as surprised as you. Why did you vote me out? Because you're one of the worst in the challenges. Also, I can't stand you. Who cares about challenges when you've got the babysitter of the year over here? Well, at least she contributes to the team. Oh, piss off. I don't need any of you or this dumb camp anyways. Great final words, Nick. Now, Pip Pip, cheerio, good sir. I want to take a moment to appreciate all the Patreons who support this show. Can't believe the producers are making me read this list. Connor Miller, Froggy RFF, Breon Thomas, Jose Moreno Lopez, Michael Horwitz, Holden M, Fabiano Ramirez Hurtado, Ivone Siles, Spicy Kimbab, Nightmare Foxy 30,000, Oliver Vera, 
Vispa King, TD Fan 2077, Ailey, Sophia Miller, Aries, Bad Luck AE, Epic Username, Tam Loves Yule and His Spicy Abs, Creepy Boy, Parker Acel, Chantilly Zimmerman, Spruce King, Zach, Acidic Gecko, Chev Camaro, Dorian West, Alicia Maxwell, Rave, Milo B, James Curtis, Charmander the Pro, Edmundo Gonzalez, Ale Doncott, Landgood08, Avi Cooper, James Strickland, Riley Hemsley, Alleyway, Superhero Cat, Donna Sida Supremacy, Cyrus, Reese R, Ima, Molly Merced, Patricia Kovacs, Alex Wife, Crit Cat, Amani Wheatley, Gabby Sunflower, Ice Mask, Owen Peters, Josh Mustard, Nick Acuna, UU17, Igloo Azele, Kiki Kawaii, The Eagle Outlaw, Mateo DF, Aiden Rainbow Emo Boy, Creeper Dunnix, Devon Wilson, David Chavez, Hey, it's Butter, Jack Mazuski, Little Fox, Yule's Baby Mama, Who the freak is this Yule guy? Apim Zito 678, Pimpo Troll, Joe Smith, Akipachi, Athena, Kodekazi, Felix MC, J Days, Nina F, Royal Showstopper 13, Judah AJ, thank you so much for your support. Now sort off you twain wankers.